Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, as you can see from the title, today's video is all about our media wall and the process of it all, the before and afters. Um, so we had a join around, um, and I think it was the end of Jan. It took a while to get this video up. I don't even know what day it even started. I'll have to figure it out. Um, but we've had um, an update on the house. Um, if you'd have seen my other videos, you'd have known that I was talking about having a media wall built in the living room. So for all the TV and a fireplace in there. Um, so yeah, like I said, this video is all about that. You'll see start to finish and also me going to H&M home and homeware shopping for all of the shelves just so I can decorate them all. We are so happy with it. It looks amazing. So um, if you did want any details, please do ask questions in the comments and I'll reply. But the person who did ours was called Gary and um, he's called GUS Joinery on Facebook. So he's local to like the Bolton area. Um, obviously we're in like Leyland way. Um, so I don't know, Northwest he might be able to come to you. But um, he's amazing and his team with the electrician and the plaster and everything did an amazing job. So you'll see all that throughout. I didn't get Gary in it unfortunately because I felt bad. Didn't want to be filming him while he was. Um, doing the job so yeah also I know I'm really dressed up I'm about to go out with my friends so <laughs> apologies that I'm a catfish um I do not look like this for a full video I'll 100% opposite so yeah enjoy the video and <laughs> I'll see you in the next one I don't know when it will be so just enjoy it give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe as well if you like liking all my content thanks guys Did, um I've just woke up really quickly before work to take this shot of the video because he's coming so early. But this is before of the progress of, well, the media ball's not even happened yet. I don't know what I'm saying because I've just woke up. But yeah, this is what it looks like before. Like I said before, that unit is going here. I'm so excited to show you all the transition. Oh, the light. Yeah. I'll film little bits in between anyway. Um, I might do a little... I think it's been about... Well, it's been all day. My full work shift and... I think you left about three o'clock, Gary. So, this is what he's done so far on the first day. I've just sat chilling. There's nothing else for me to do. Till he's on the floor. I've just put this little unit here, though, to make it all nice. I'll show you that in a second. Um, because that was there, which had the TV on. But yeah, so this top bit is all going to be boarded. Telly's going in the middle. Fireplace is going there. That's all going to be plastered and boarded. And then each here, you can see the three, which I was talking about before. The three little boxes. So they're what's going to be filled with like accessories, um, like decor bits. I'm thinking like coffee table books, vases, uh, just like ornaments or I think I might do one with logs like you know when they fill it one thing with logs to give it that vibe I can't wait to see it when it's like boarded up a bit more and we can properly see but yeah he's done so much in one day so good and we've got the plastic wrap floor Aaron's here I'm just vlogging for the YouTube uh, the channel but yeah I'll show you how to just bash my knee so we've moved the MS lamp and my little Julius Caesar black what is it bust sorry not black so yeah I need to like decorate this properly and arrange it all and style it I'm not sure what to do I'm thinking we might do panelling halfway up the wall as well I'm getting a vibe now of what we should do for decorating in here but we'll see what it looks like when the media wall's done i need probably pictures there or maybe there i don't know i need to get rid of this little table as well because this is going we're going to get a little cute side table that kind of matches the vibe there's nothing on the window really at the minute so yeah day one complete Okay, so we've had loads of progress uh, since the last clip. You'll be happy to see. Um, it started on Monday. It is 
what did you we're on wednesday today wednesday afternoon so yesterday i didn't video anything um because the sparky the electrics guy <laughs> electrician was here um he, behind the fire the actual fire unit they put another socket um they've sorted out all the sockets and everything behind there as well um and as you can see i think this is here ready for the tv port we've obviously got that already built on that side when we had uh, the options with the developer we got it moved the tv plate onto that side um but yeah it's been boarded up plasterboarded all like drilled in uh like i said the fire's in and we know it works we've tested it i just love how in sync it is in here like you won't be able to notice sort of well you can obviously see where it starts and finishes but yeah it's just so set in um plastering's gonna take place tomorrow um it'll be started but all this silver stuff um someone's come around today to put that in i'm no joiner so i don't know what it is but it's the a step that they have to do before they plaster it so guessing that's plastering stuff um it looks like it's yeah he stapled it in but that's around all of the little um shelves and things like that and the sharper corners he's done it on this side i'm guessing it makes it so it doesn't chip oh yeah see we've had the the light switch put in within it so that's cool oh it just looks so good i'm just gonna zoom out and show you um it in a bit of a better view so that's the door as you come in that's the media wall so far sorry everything looks a mess because there's just rubbish everywhere that's the tv that's going up there that's the bay window oh we've had our shutters measured as well so they're coming soon well not soon in the next month or so so yeah that's what we're up to now Right, so it's fully, well, it's not finished, it's not painted, but oh, I literally walked downstairs, everyone, and I'm like, oh my God, it is so nice. So it's been plastered, that's why it all looks like that, um, obviously. We've got the fire in, it's going away, we've got the telly working, it's all sunk in really nice. I'm actually obsessed with it. I just sit here and sometimes I don't put the telly on. I just sit up with my feet up and watch it. Plan is to, obviously all the other room's white. So we're just going to paint the media wall white and then we'll decorate it properly. Um, well, I'm saying that, we'll probably just turn it to a bit cream or something. But this is what the living room's looking like at the moo. Lovely. Sorry if you can hear my washing machine in the background. Oh, I found this table in Home Sense. I'm literally obsessed with it. Aaron's grand made a really funny comment and said it was like, you know, the tables that you get in hospital when they're over your bed because <laughs> you can't move. But that is literally going to be Aaron. I imagine him just lay there with his feet under it, with his legs under it, a beer or a coffee. That's all I'm doing this morning. I'm watching just like that and just like that. Um, I'm on episode eight, uh, so I'm kind of up to date. I've got this and then episode nine to watch up to now. But by the time this comes out, probably episode 10 or 11 will be out knowing me. But yeah, um, comment if you're watching it as well. I'm obsessed with it. But I'll show you when it's all painted as well. Do the full reveal. We're thinking loads of like, ornaments in this. So I've been on H&M trying to look for um sort of styling ornaments which there's just so many to choose from on h&m home and stuff but i don't want it all to be h&m home i want to mix it up so i've been trying to find like little bits like this this is from home sense uh this little thing and then i've got obviously like just pillar candles from ikea i picked this up from home sense as well it's a little tea light holder I've obviously got this one that i got for christmas I'm just thinking like some coffee table box, uh, candles, hurricane vases, um, 
a vase on its own or like you know ornaments like that that's in the window but yeah love it so far hope you guys like it too I got back from work um, I've been in the office for the first time this year uh, we're doing two days a week now so I've just been in the office all day come back Aaron was like are you gonna paint the rest of it I was like fine so yeah here we are with my media wall um, I'm knackered and I've not even built it um, I've just painted it but the plan is to Paint the full room a different colour, I think I said that anyway. But this is just white for now. Um, it's not fully perfect. You can see me, hello. Um, but yeah, so happy with it. The next thing to do is, once it's dry, I'm going to dress these and pop some nice little bits up there. What is that? Oh, fine. Um, and put some bits in there. I need to order some more, but I'm going to do it a bits at a time. I don't want to order loads of stuff and then it not be exactly how we want it, so... Yeah, I'm really happy with it. So I won't lie to you, uh, this is a good few days after the media wall was actually finished. Uh, probably like a week. <laughs> but I've made it to Liverpool. I'm on annual leave today. It's a Monday. Um, I just had one extra holiday to take, so I just did that for a nice day out. So yeah, I'm in the car park at Liverpool 1. I'm specifically going to H&M home because we don't have one near us. And I don't like ordering stuff online that's like, pots and vases and stuff and I like seeing them in person just to see if they look like expensive or if they look cheap because H&M Home is so good for like monetary wise for loads of items for your home but I don't want it to look cheap. Last time I went in the shop everything looked amazing so but I just want to go in and have a feel you know it's a bit of a different experience when you do it that way so I'm doing that. I think they've got an Oliver bonus, bonus whatever it's called and I'm going to see if they've got a Zara home as well and just have a look round. Um, this is just so we can get stuff for the media wall and for the shelves. I want to do some shelf styling. <clears throat> Excuse me. And like maybe some coffee table books or something like that. I don't know. But I'll just show you what I get up to in there and what I find. Um, I'll do a haul when I get back if I've got anything. Um, but yeah, if you go on my Instagram, so I'm probably going to do a reel. Um, just so like a little H&M shop with me thing. So yeah, I'll see you when I'm back. I'm back from Liverpool, H&M home. I went to a few places as well. Ooh, get the light. That was a sneak peek. It's no sneak peek of the stuff that I bought. I'm so excited. You know when you go on, ho like, not holiday, when you go shopping, you just get really excited over everything, everything you bought. Like, usually I'd come home and I'd model all my stuff to my mum and be like, oh, look at this. Like, you know, when you buy clothes, but now I'm modelling all of the home stuff to Aaron and he's fuming because... It was a well, it was like £100 for all the bits that I've bought, which I'll show you. And then I've got two coffee table books from Waterstones, which are really nice. Um, but he's not happy about that. But this is what happens when he says no to coming on a day out with me somewhere shopping and I'm left alone. I spend more money. Okay, so I've had to come into the dining area because Aaron sat watching Star Wars, which is really, really productive and good. Um, so, yeah. I'll just go through it all in here. So, pulled this out of the bag to start with to show Aaron. Um, I've just done a little mini haul for him. And the first thing he said was, What the F is that a bong? Sorry if I get um, demonetized for that, but I doubt a child would know what a bong is. But fair play, I mean, it does look a little bit like one. But it's not Aaron, it's a candle holder, all right? Thank you. Um, this is another candle holder. I've got a bit of a thing with them, but you don't have to have them lit all the time. They're just really nice for accessorising. So there's this one. Ignore my grim nails. I've not had them done yet. This little mini vase, vase, vase. It's this thing. That was only six ninety nine. Oh, I'll show prices. So that was six ninety nine. What's that one? Eight ninety nine. 
and the, to be fair like this is why i love going in store they feel expensive some of these like that's 12.99 that's really light though it's quite i don't know if it's glass or if it is plus mm, i think it's glass oh, i'm obsessed with these like irregular shaped things so this is a mini vase I've, i'm not sure how much that was you know it doesn't actually have the price but it's probably around six pounds uh, and then the big one because we don't actually have a massive vase for flowers um someone gave us a bunch of flowers the other week when they came to visit and i went in the cupboard thinking i had one just second nature and i didn't so i'm glad i bought this this was 19.99 you can see how big it is compared to them. And then this one, it says it's 8 99 but it was actually discounted because this was a return to store and they never have them in store, she said. But it's got two chips at the top. Now, I can easily just like colour that in or paint it. So um, I just bought it and you're not going to really see it when it is in the media wall, I think, if it's like that. So, yeah. Then we've got the... Um, sort of fragrancey things i was going to put this in the bedroom because i just think we need like a little spray on the side for it um and then this candle is giving me like pure tom ford vibes with the um stickers on it love them the piece de resistance can you even cope look at the texture in that focus focus look at the texture in that it looks so expensive. Whoops, there we go. Like if I show you that later when it's in the media wall, it looks so expensive. I'm obsessed with them. And then we've got two coffee table books that I went into Waterstones for. I was just having a quick mooch. I wasn't sure whether I was gonna find anything. And um, so this minimalist, what a minimalista. Um, it has actually got a bit of a the binding on and it's broken a little bit, but um, it's just got ideas on how to be quite minimal. Look at that. Inspo heaven. Not that our house looks like that. But it just gives us a little bit of something to go off. And then this is Homes with Souls. So it's quite um, homely homes, I'd say. <laughs> like really nice. Ooh, I like that one. So yeah, these are nice to just flip through if ever you fancy it, but they are decorative books for the side, really. And yeah, lovely. They were pretty expensive. Aaron went mad at me for buying these. I think that was 25. 35. Oh God, is that... This is why he needs to come with me because I wouldn't have... He wouldn't have let me buy them, but then... That it shouldn't come with me because we needed them. It's like when you put them sideways, that's how they look. Oh, I'll show you a moment. Well, imagine that inside. Looks very yellow in here because of the lighting, but yeah. So excited to get them in the shelves. Um, a little bit of reality for you. We've just got a little empty, well not empty, half full tins of paint there for touching up the walls because we've just had some um, snags done. So they've come in and like filled any holes and stuff. Um, nothing's actually in here to be fair. But yeah, that's the story for another day. Um, so I'm going to do a little reel, I think, of putting these in the shelves on Instagram. So if you don't already follow our home Instagram, it's oakhurst underscore est 2021. Uh, when I say est, it's E-S-T. Um, I'm going to put the reel on there, but I might do a quick time lapse anyway um, and cut it short for styling the shelves on here. And then I'll show you the end result. And then that's when you'll actually be watching the YouTube video in real time. I'm sorry that every time I film something, it takes so long. Um, but yeah. Okay, guys. So I've just had a bit of a play around with it. Um, I'm not fully sure yet. <sighs> I feel like something's missing. Like I've got all pieces that I really love. This is kind of... Oh, ignore my armor washing, sorry. Um, this is kind of what I've got left over. They look really great. Um, I'm just unsure. I do it this side. 
I love that up there. I think it looks so like expensive. I love it. I'm just not sure. So this is the top. Middle shelf and bottom. I don't know if I'm just being really picky. And I've got this that I, I did want to get like a pitch frame or something that might cover that switch, but I don't know. That's the middle one. And then top. I love that. That's definitely staying. I just, I'm really not sure. I do like this one on its own as well. I think it looks really nice, but as a whole, I'm just really not sure. Sorry if you can hear Aaron shouting in the background. He's on his game. But yeah, comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. But other than that, I'm going to end the video here. Yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Um, I know it's been a bit all over the place with um, there being a bit of time in between it being finished. I mean, you might not notice that on here, but yeah. And then we're going, obviously, completing all of this today. It's probably going to change again at some point, so I'll keep you updated. But for all house updates, just make sure you follow the Instagram, like I said before, because um, I probably upload them more regularly on there, like any updates on my stories and things like that. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. Oh, actually, before I go, I need to update you on the dressing room situation. That isn't fully finished yet because I've been trying to order my IKEA packs wardrobes, but they're, not, they're never in stock, like ever. Not in Manchester or Warrington and I can't get hold of them. So as soon as I get them ordered... They will obviously get delivered or whatever and then we'll start putting them up so I'll film that. But yeah, I'm not sure what my next video is going to be right now. So just stay tuned for more. If you've got any suggestions or anything you want to see, please do let me know. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.